Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing, and welcome to the first episode of a new series that I'm calling SLA 101. What we're going to be doing is covering some quick topics regarding SLA resin printing, just some quick tips and tricks, and I'm going to try to keep it focused on non-printer specific so that it's things that would apply to anything from the Prusa SL1 to the PO Poly Moai to a photon to a shuttle to anything that prints with resin. The first episode is going to be resin welding. A few of you may have heard me talk about this on social media and have asked how I do it, so I'm going to show you. It's a really quick process. Let's do it. Okay, so the concept of resin welding is taking two pieces, and I just created these just for um, this episode to show you. They're dissimilar pieces, but we're going to join them together in a couple of different configurations. And the process of resin welding is basically as simple as we're going to brush some resin onto the surfaces we want to join, fit the parts together, and then we're going to cure it with a UV light. So all you need to do this is a brush or a q-tip or something to apply a minimal amount of resin some resin in this case we're going to use the prusa red the same that these were printed out of and you need a uv curing you light now this is the peel poly spotlight uh, uv cannon a lot of different nicknames for it if you're going to be using something like this you definitely need uv glasses because it is extremely bright my glasses have UV protection built in, but this is much brighter than it can handle. And that's it. That's all you need. Now, you don't have to have something like a UV Canyon. If you have a, a Prusa CW1 or something like that, you can use that to cure your, your part. You just have to fit it inside the unit. Or you could even use like a UV pen light. So let's keep this simple. And I'm not even gloving up for this because we're not going to be handling the resin. I'm going to start off by shaking the resin, and what I want to do is get some, well, I want to get the color mixed, but I also want to get a little bit on the cap, on the inside, so that it's wet, just a little bit. Oops, and it looks like we have a little bit of a leak there, too. That's okay. We've got enough in there, and that's why I have extra paper towels. Okay. For this one, we're just going to join them in this orientation, kind of like the way the puzzle piece goes. So what I'm going to do is on this surface, just going to take the brush, dip it in some of the resin that got on the lid here. I'm going to lightly brush it onto the surface that is going to be joined, just like you would with glue. You want to minimize getting it on the surfaces of the print that you don't want. In fact, if you do, now's a good time to take a paper towel and wipe it off. And all we're going to do is fit these pieces together like so. I'm going to pull it apart, make sure that resin got on both sides, and in this case it didn't, so I'm going to add some resin to the other side. So we want enough resin there to bond. And provide a little bit of a gap fill. Again, if you get any on the surface, you can wipe it off with a paper towel. And we're going to fit those together like so. Now, if you had a more complicated part, you could clamp it uh, somehow with a rubber band or whatever you'd like to do. And I'm just going to let that sit together like that for a second. Um, it's not going to instantly dry while we prep this piece. I want to get a little more resin in the lid, so I'm going to shake it one more time.
Now this one we're going to do a little bit more complicated join. I'm going to join the pieces in this orientation here, like that, where we don't have full contact. So this side, I'm going to go brush the resin on. Even though I'm not going to the bottom all the way, I'm still going to brush the entire piece here. And I'm going to brush it on this edge here. This edge that's going to mate like so. And we're going to just mate those pieces together. Now this is one that would be handy to clamp. Since I don't have one handy, I'm just going to hold it for now. I'm going to put the lid back on the resin so that doesn't get any exposure. Throw on our glasses. Keep that pressure on there. We're going to turn on the UV light. And it's on. And all we're going to do is cure that for a couple of minutes until it sets up. It shouldn't take long. And this is where a UV pen light is handy. And this other piece here that we did, we're just going to hit that with UV for a few seconds. And I can probably pick it up and flip it over and do the other side. There you go. And there we have it. The pieces are now resin welded together. They are fairly strong. Uh, again, take your paper towel, just in case anything leaked out, give it a good wipe. Um, you could possibly just wipe it with IPA again if you wanted to, uh, to get any, any cleanup. And that wasn't that strong of a joint, but it's tighter to go back together. So maybe that could have used curing a little bit longer. So let's try that one again. And let's see how this one did. Now that piece also looks like it dried pretty good and it's pretty well together. Um, I can't crush that with my hands. And if you can see that, there, you can see how slim that joint is. And I can't crush that with my hands. So that one got enough light. And let's see if that one was enough. Nope, that one's still a little bit brighter. I think this one here, the surfaces don't have enough joining area. So let's go a little bit heavier and try this one again. We're getting a little troubleshooting in the process. Get some more. I'm going to brush that on heavy. See if we can get a little bit of a gap fill. We have five surfaces here that are trying to stick together. So, Okay, now we have a much tighter bond. Push those down flat. And I'm actually going to do that on the granite so I can get those flush. Let's fire the light back up and see if this one cured. I'm going to try applying a little pressure to clamp it while I do it here. Okay, let's see what we got this time. This time it looks like it's a little bit more solid, a little bit, I see less air in the gaps or light through the gaps. So let's see if that one did it this time. Cross your fingers. And there it goes. I cannot break it now. Oh, unless I really force it. All right, well, I had to really force that one. Anyway, resin welding in a nutshell. Brush it on, join your pieces together, cure it. 
Um, if you take your time and you're doing it on a part that you really need and you line up your parts and you clamp it, you can actually get a very seamless bond. Probably want more curing time than what I'm just doing here as the example. Like this guy held up really well. The other guy didn't. And that about wraps it up. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, be sure to like that smash button. Click the subscribe button and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded to the channel. I hope you like the inaugural version of SLA 101 resin welding and we'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.